hello guys and welcome to my channel so today I'm painting a birdhouse as you can probably tell this thing took like so many coats of white paint before I could like paint over my new design and I just took photos of like the different stages throughout the process uh, to show you guys um, if you like this sort of video please tell me down in the comments and like please like and subscribe so I decided to paint the roof pink, as you can see, instead of painting red because I thought that was just boring, because you know. And then I painted roses onto like the side parts around the birdhouse because I thought it looked cute. I painted the walls like a bluey grey colour because I thought it was like interesting and it looked nice with the really hot pink colour that I used. This thing took so many coats, it, it was so annoying because you have to wait for the paint to dry. So I was like painting like five coats for every side of the thing and I had to wait for it to dry. So this project took a couple of days, longer than my normal projects. But it was definitely worth it. I was just showing how lumpy that side of wall came out because I didn't wait for it to dry typically. So if you haven't already realised, I'm making this into like a sort of mini house. So I painted on doors and some blue squares, which then turn into windows eventually. Yeah, this is a really bad angle. I don't know why I showed that. So, I... and ignore the mess in the background. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah. So then I started outlining the blue squares with my white Posca pen. Here I am showing what I'm doing. And so I draw two white lines in the middle of the square and I smudge out the white line when it's still wet. And then I put a white outline around the box as sort of a windowsill. I also do this for like the doorknob on the door. This is the final result. I am actually pretty happy with this. If you like this, please tell me down in the comments. And please and yeah 